Hey guys, happy Sunday. It's Tony with Clean Living. Uh, tonight I thought we would uh, do some what I call sicky remedies. So uh, we'll wait a few minutes for people to go ahead and join. I'm sorry I'm a couple minutes late. Today was one of my uh, soap making days and I found a couple of new recipes. So I'm trying one of them today. It's called eucalyptus, I named it eucalyptus escape. It is made with um, eucalyptus oil and tea tree oil. It's considered a man scent because there's very few scents out there that uh, that are considered men scents. My husband doesn't really care which one he grabs. He just uses whatever homemade soap is uh, is in one of the baskets when we when he runs out in the shower. But uh, I was looking specifically for man scents, and apparently eucalyptus is a manly scent. So eucalyptus and tea tree. Tea tree is uh, specifically for uh, an oilier skin. Uh, outside sweating hot uh, in Florida that would be anybody this time of year but uh, uh, so I decided to make it and it smells wonderful I used a uh, my normal recipe which I did recently live and I also used a blue mica because to add color to it so I'll show it to you while we wait for people to come on board As you can see the top of that that's actually a uh, like a slate blue so if you look at it from the side, you'll see that it's a multicolor bar. So when, when I actually take this out of the mold uh, and cut it, it'll have um, it'll be multicolored. So that was what I'm doing today. And hi, Susie. But I uh, uh, and I ran a little late, so I'm making a second batch of it because I might have the crock pot and everything else out. So I thought, well, we'll just make two batches of it and, and get it done with. So. I had to uh, put my butters and stuff in my crock pot so that they can be melting while uh, while I go live and then while my lye is also doing on the stove which you can probably see in the distance back there so she's not clear yet so she's got a little ways to go before she's ready to add to the to the to the butters to uh, create the soap so if you didn't get a chance to watch my making soap live go ahead and do that it's a uh, um, I think it was a pretty fun episode. It's really cool to be able to make your own bars of soap and I use them uh, I make them for both myself and my my family of course fantastic for Christmas presents and I also sell them on Etsy so uh, Hi Laura Happy Sunday. I hope you had a great Sunday today So we have been uh, in case you haven't been seeing my Facebook and Trisha's Facebook and you probably don't see Ann's Facebook. All, we all work together. Some of us work together. And last week, one of our coworkers, we call him, what does she call him? Customer Zero, uh, Patient Zero, uh, got sick and was home. And before you knew it, we had, I don't know, three, four, five people starting to get sick and going home on Thursday night. So, hi, Sarah. So anyways, we got home. I felt fine when I was leaving work. And then by the time I got home, I started to get that feeling, like you're gonna get the flu feeling. Yeah, exactly. That's what was going around in our office. It was a combination, head, stuffiness, fever, and stomach. Uh, so by the time I got home, I started feeling uh, like, you know, you just know you're, you're my, my telltale sign for me is my lips get really red and my feet get cold. So when my feet get cold, um, regardless, like cold from the inside out, not cold as in like on tile floor cold. Uh, so I got home and I immediately put um, uh, Thebes in all my diffusers. I add a little bit of eucalyptus because it helps with the breathing. And I happen to like eucalyptus. So it just, it's one of those comfort <laughs> scents for me. I think it, you know, reminds me of that stuff. Was it Vicks or something that we used to use when we were kids? Uh, Save the Baby was another one. It had eucalyptus in it. So I put thieves and eucalyptus in all the diffusers. I got out what I call my sicky spray, my hand sanitizer, uh, uh, my linen spray. Instead of using um, uh, chemically based uh, germ killers, like for your pillows and your blankets and stuff like that, I have, I've made a, uh, a Young Living version of that and it smells wonderful. So I got it out and I'm spraying everything and um, my my particular um, uh, I, don't know, I can't think of the word um, remedy for me is oil of oregano or oregano essential oil so 
Vitality one. So you add, I, I particularly put uh, three drops into one of those little uh, gel, uh, vegetable gel caplets, because oil of oregano is a hot oil, so you don't want to just like put it under your tongue like you do DJs or any of that, because I put it in orange juice uh, once for my husband, because that's how I drink it as well. I'll put a drop in my orange juice and I'll mix it really good and then I'll drink it. Well, my husband kind of held on to his orange juice for a little bit. That oil went to the top and he went and took a sip of it. and. Uh, yeah, he had a little bit of a hissy. It was, uh, felt like his mouth was on fire. So you gotta be careful with it. So I, instead of taking chances any longer, I got those vegetable gel caps from Young Living. And I put three drops of oil oregano in that. And I take one in the, in the morning and one at night. Every night uh, since Thursday. Thursday night is when I left work and started to feel that way. And knock on wood, uh, I've managed to avoid it so far. Like you can feel it, like it, I, my body wants to get sick. Uh, but that oil of oregano for me, coupled with the Thieves, uh, I have a Thieves throat spray and I have a mouthwash, you know, because the back of your throat starts to hurt and gets scratchy from sinuses and draining and all of that. Uh, so I start using all of that and knock on wood, I've, uh, I, felt, I felt good this weekend. I wouldn't say I'd feel top of the line, but I got it like yesterday we packed our garage because we're getting ready to sell the house and move. So for us to be out there for about seven hours packing, um, I felt good, I felt so. Knock on wood from Thieves and uh, um, oil of oregano. But anyway, so today what I wanted to do is, this week I'll probably concentrate on sicky type stuff. We're going into that season, kids, kiddos are going back to school, so now we have little infirmaries coming home from school every day. Uh, so I'll share all of, all of those types of recipes over the next week or so. But tonight is, is a relatively simple um, recipe. And I have it, it's called Germs Away. So this is just simply a two ounce bottle. It's got a flip top on it, so you can flip it open, put it on and off. You can also use a fine mist sprayer if you want to. Uh, but I, I, again, this stuff, I just slide it in my purse. And I'm not a real big fan of this type of stuff. Uh, and hi, Kathy. Uh, because buying the chemically based version of it. I'm one of those people who tends to believe if you use too much of it, you just take away your body's ability to fight the fight off uh, germs. So when I discovered that you could make your own using Young Living Oil and instead of alcohol, witch hazel and aloe, uh, I decided to make my own. So I do make my own this. I sell it on Etsy as well. It's called Germs Away. And tonight we're gonna go ahead and make it live. And hi, Heather. And Laura, I hope you feel better. Oil of oregano, I tell you, I don't know. Um, a friend of mine told me about it. She was, she's not even an oily person. She just uses oil of oregano. Hi, Luann. And she's been using it for years. So I uh, did some reading on it. And I actually have a recipe for uh, something, uh, is it oregano, basil, and one other thing that have all the, anti, all the um, properties of antibiotic. And oil of oregano does have the properties of an antibiotic. So I am a firm believer before you go get antibiotic to try oil of oregano. For me personally, I take three drops in one of the little gel caps, one in the morning and one at night. Uh, and you can feel it, you know, when you take an antibiotic and you, you can, you're kind of sweaty because it's, it's working, you know, its way out. Um, that, that's kind of what it does. So I've survived so far and uh, I've, I've read on the Facebook pages some of my coworkers are pretty down and out as in bed and been in bed all weekend so uh, knock on wood oil and oil of oregano and thieves to the uh, <laughs> to, to the save for this particular case so anyways today we are going to make uh, this week we're going to concentrate on sickies type stuff or eliminating sickies and germs around the house of course you know your thieves cleaner kills 99.8 percent of uh, bacteria and viruses so fantastic to use on cleaning the bathroom, cleaning the kitchen counters, if you're using chicken on the kitchen counter, all of that kind of stuff. Your thieves clean are fantastic. That's a good start. Uh, but there's also all kinds of linen sprays and body sprays and thieves in the diffuser as well to kill airborne and hand sanitizer, your soap, hand soap, uh, that kind of stuff. Fantastic ways to try to keep those germs out of your house without having uh, uh, all those chemicals. You can buy the gel caps in the, uh, I, I want to say the GNC, the, the natural um, vitamin stores. You can also get them on uh, Young Living. Hold on one second, let me grab mine. Yeah, yeah 
I got mine, uh, here's mine. So I got mine on Young Living. But I believe you can get them in the G G GNC. Is that the name of that store? Hi, my Sarah. How are you? So, yeah, oil of oregano, three drops in this, one in the morning, one at night. And knock on wood, I, I feel good in comparison to what some of my coworkers feel like. So today we are going to make uh, hand gel. Simple, simple, right? And I just remembered I forgot one thing. So stare at my kitchen for a second. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. So uh, we need witch hazel, which you can get at the store. You can get buy an organic version of this on Amazon. I don't have it, but uh, you can buy it that way. And then aloe, which this stuff is fantastic. So this costs $12 a bottle and it is 32 ounces. So I use this in my hand sanitizer. I use it in my after sun spray. I mean, let's face it, you come home after a hot day in the sun, you just take uh, aloe and this is kind of liquefied, you can see. Um, uh, spray it on or rub it on. It's nice stuff. So this is the, uh, this is the aloe that I use in the, in the uh, germs way. So again, simple, simple, guys. We're going to take 1.5 ounces of witch hazel. This is a two ounce uh, bottle. And if anybody who watches my shows know I'm not much of a measurer, that's why I don't bake for a living. So we're going to go ahead and add this. And for those that just joined, what I thought I was going to do is, uh, as we're going throughout the month, uh, we had we had some people in the office last week that uh, started this this wicked stomach head feverish kind of flu summer flu here in Florida and, and instead of going on to some of the other things I was going to do in this week's script coming up I figured with the kids all starting to go back to school I'm start to I'm going to use some of my my sick away type stuff so we're going to do like linen spray that you can use in lieu of chemically based stuff to kill germs on your pillows and your comforters your couch uh, we're going to do gel uh, hand sanitizer tonight, we'll, you, the foaming hand soap I believe we've already done, um, but we'll do stuff like that, Sicky, what I call sicky spray. I had these in the diffuser to keep the airborne um, uh, bacteria away. So today we're going to start with uh, the hand sanitizer. So again, two ounce bottle, witch hazel. And we're going to fill it up. So 1.5 ounces. I'm batting a thousand today. So 1.5 ounces witch hazel. And then the rest, aloe. So how good is that for your skin, right? Uh, and this stuff, again, this is, I think I paid $12.99 for it. I got it on Amazon Prime, and I use it in everything. I use it in my after sun. I use it when I come home from a, a full day in the sun. You just take regular aloe, organic aloe, not the blue stuff that you buy at the store, because, you know, it's not naturally blue. Um, just put it on your skin. It's good stuff for your skin. So 1.5 ounces of witch hazel, half an ounce of aloe. So fill the rest of the bottle. And you can see as I'm pouring it, it's not thick, it's not thin either. So it's a little, you can see that. Okay. And then there's a multitude of different um, oh I don't know about that I suppose you could do it with just the witch hazel I'd have to look into that Laura 
Have you tried organic aloe versus uh, like the stuff you buy at the store and says it's aloe? I know I had one of the ladies that, I think it was Luann that was on this, that tried it with regular aloe that she grew from home, which I have as well, but that's a very thick aloe. So you almost have to scrape that off and boil it down and add a little um, uh, liquid to it. Um, maybe some distilled water to kind of, because it's very, very thick. But you might want to try, maybe buy a small thing of this. It's called, um, who makes it? Certified Natural Pearl Strength Aloe Farms is who makes it, and I got it on Amazon. So, and it didn't work, right, Luann? It was too, it was too thick. Because I've, I've used regular aloe that you pick out of the garden, you use it on a burn, like, you know, you burn yourself, me, I'm, when I cook I tend to burn myself so I use it there but uh, to try to use it in uh, in in this type of uh, environment it's too thick you'd have to you'd have to do some uh, boiling it down I think so anyways there's a multitude of different oils you can use obviously the, no the number one oil that you have to use is here's your thieves so this is one of those oils that I don't run out of any time of year, but most definitely not this time of year. So you put eight drops of thieves in. Okay. And again, anybody who knows me knows I'm a little heavy handed with oil. So I always let the extra drop go in. And then for me personally, again, because I like eucalyptus, I use eucalyptus in it. There are, again, you could you could put a little lavender if you wanted to in it, but eucalyptus, again, has those antibacterial bodies, works well with the thieves. Or if you don't want to use eucalyptus, you simply use 10 drops of thieves. Do the same thing for you. I like the smell of eucalyptus. I hope I do. My house smells like eucalyptus right now because of all the soap I'm making today. So we put two drops of that in. And again, you can use a fine mist sprayer top. I just happen to have a flip top on this one. Shake the bottle. And anytime you make anything with essential oils, you always need to shake the bottle before you use it. Yeah, good luck with that, Laura. You make them some linen spray um, with thieves in it. Spray down your pillows and your couches, anything that your bathroom. Use your use your, your thieves spray, your thieves cleaner to uh, to clean the bathroom. Anywhere that anybody touches. So, anyways, this is the uh, hand gel. You'll see it comes out. Use it. Rub it on. It does have witch hazel in it. I remember as a child, my mom used to use witch hazel. Um, we had fevers, so she would always use the, the cold compress or the ice, you know, in the bowl next to the bed. And if her fevers got too high, she would use witch hazel. So again, it's one of those comfort things for me. But you see, it dried on. There's no residue in my hand. It is not sticky from the aloe. And I didn't use any uh, chemicals that I can't pronounce to kill the germs. And again, I'm not. I'm. I'm one of those people that firmly believe that using too much antibacterial soap and and hand gel uh, will actually uh, assist your body in not being able to fight it off. I am not a doctor. That is just in my own head. So, but this is a this is a hand gel that I do use. And here's it with the label on it. It's called Germs Away. Two ounce bottle, flip top label, 1.5 ounces of witch hazel, 0.5 ounces of aloe, eight drops of thieves in this particular one, and two drops of eucalyptus, or simply use 10 drops of the thieves, and you have yourself a hand gel. 
hand sanitizer. So I'll post the recipe later out on the site and I'll also uh, create a recipe card and put it up into the files um, into the files folder. So for each recipe that I'm doing this month and for all the ones that I did last month, I've already created recipe cards and I put them under files under this group. You can find them there. And that would be it. So guys, oh, let me show you my soap. See now, it's cooling. So I'm gonna have to fiddle with this. But those who joined were making eucalyptus escape soap, right? So I was trying to find a uh, a uh, scent for men, for boys. As I mentioned, my husband doesn't really care. He just grabs whichever soap is uh, in one of the baskets that's made by me. But I was looking online over the weekend because I was looking for something to start a men's line or you know have some men's soap. Well, there is not very many men's soap out there. So I did find one uh, was eucalyptus. It's eucalyptus and tea tree. The tea tree is for a little bit of an oilier skin. The eucalyptus is a manly scent. And you know, when you're outside working and you're hot and sweaty, uh, your skin tends to get a little oily. So that's what the tea tree oil is for. And of course it has all the butters and, and the coconut oil and everything you saw me use in the video that I did on do it yourself uh, soap making. So it's still very, very moisturizing. So I just made my first batch of it and my house smells fantastic because I happen to like the smell of eucalyptus. That's what I have in my diffuser. I have thieves and eucalyptus in my diffuser to stop the sickies from going around, so. It could, it could kill the good bacteria. Uh, again, that's why I'm, I'm a firm believer in thieves. So anyways, guys, I have to go. So my lye is probably ready to process and my butters are probably ready for my lye to be added to it so I can make my next, uh, uh, my next batch of soap. I'm making two, two uh, batches of soap. And it does me too, Laura. It reminds me, I mentioned earlier at the beginning of when we were sick and we were kids, my mom would put, uh, Vic, liquid Vix in a vaporizer next to our bed and then we would have either Vix vapor rub on our chest or uh, save the baby I think that probably ages me a little bit for anybody out there uh, but that all has eucalyptus in it so it's a comfort feeling for me it's a comfort scent it reminds me of home I love eucalyptus so anyways guys I'm gonna go back to my soap making happy Sunday to you I hope you have, hope you have a great day last day of the weekend and I look forward to uh, talking to you again next week have a good one. Bye-bye.